Hi, my name's Ruth Steggles and I'm Head of Pre-Prep here at Framlingham College Prep School. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to engage your child with reading. And I'm not really talking about the school reading scheme because if I asked all of you, how did you learn to read? What really switched you on to reading? I very much doubt you'd tell me it was the school reading scheme. I think it was probably a wide variety of books that you accessed in a wide variety of ways. So today I'm going to talk about my five top tips for engaging your child in reading. Top tip number one, enjoy reading with your child. And I mean really enjoy it. It's a really special time to be able to spend some time one-to-one -one or one-to-two if you've got more than one child, reading a book that you really enjoy. Children really love being retold a story many, many times. So make sure if you pick a book that you're going to enjoy many, many times. Otherwise you might get a little bit bored. Secondly, think about bringing out the inner actor in you. Don't be afraid to give the characters voices. Don't be afraid to act really surprised. Don't be afraid to make the most of rhymes and always go for the laugh. You'll find then that children really enjoy that story and you'll be amazed how quickly they pick up a story and start retelling it to their teddy, the dog, the cat, the goldfish, grandma. They really will love reading if you demonstrate how much you love spending time with them sharing a book. Not all children will want to read a storybook. Some children will really want to share the Argos catalogue with you or your recipe book or a how-to manual or the instructions for the Lego. Whatever it is, just settle down and really enjoy sharing that moment with your child. Top tip two, let your children see you read. It can be anything, you know, a newspaper, a comic, shopping catalogue, searching for a recipe, the how-to manual, the instructions for the washing machine or the lawn mower, whatever it is, let them see that you read. It'll help them understand that reading carries meaning, that print carries meaning, and that reading is a way of connecting with the world. Children will copy you, they'll show you your example, just give them an example of reading. Top tip number three follows on really. Have a wide variety of books available for children to look at. They could be anything, it doesn't really matter. Children will just enjoy turning those pages, looking at the pictures, and don't be afraid to talk about the pictures in the book. You know, it's all part of the experience of reading. So have a wide variety of books on your shelf, have children's books, have books that you loved when you were a child. If you really loved The Faraway Tree or Millie Molly Mandy, have that on your bookshelf, let them discover that. Whatever it is, have them available, let them have a see. If you haven't got a huge variety of books in your house anymore, I know that most of my books are now on an iPad, then the library is a wonderful place to go with your child. Such a huge array of books, Anywhere that you can go where other people are reading, are sharing books, helps children to understand that it isn't just about them, but that books are a universal thing. They're part of our culture. And therefore, it's why it's so important to you as a parent that your child engages in reading. If they realize there's a purpose for reading, much more likely to encourage them to try to learn to do it. Do remember that reading isn't just about the reading scheme. The reading scheme that we have at school, any school, is designed to fit in with the teaching of phonics and the high frequency words. But I have to be honest, they're not the most exciting books that your child will ever come across. If your child really doesn't fancy reading the reading scheme book to you, don't worry about it. Choose a book that you do like to read and let them read that instead. Remember that anything that they read, whether it's a recipe, a comic, the Argos catalogue, my children used to love reading the Argos catalogue at Christmas, all of those are about the printed word. It's all about reading practice. So you know what? If they're not into reading Biff, Chip and Kipper again, go for something else. But just let them enjoy what they're reading. And top tip number five, take the pressure off. Okay, let them perhaps choose a book they really like, that you know they'll love to share. If it's a little bit beyond their reading age, don't worry, you can do some of the work. Shared reading is really valuable, it's still giving them that reading practice and it's also getting them to extend their knowledge. Don't ever be afraid if a child is really stuck on a word when they're reading a book, to just tell them what the word is. It's so much better to get them reading fluently than it is to worry obsessively about sounding things out. Because we're talking here about the whole bit of reading and not just the phonics. Another way of doing it is, now let me see, Children love 
to correct an adult. So you know what? Make a mistake when you're doing some reading. See if they can help you. Tell them you forgot what that word says and let them sound it out for you or tell you. It will really give them a huge boost in self-confidence to think they know something better than you do. It really is about giving children a love of reading. So don't put them under too much pressure. If we're tired and grumpy, don't do it. It's fine to write a note in the book to the teacher and say we were far too tired, so we read a story together instead. The teacher will appreciate that much more than you feeling that you have to force your way through the entire Biff, Chip and Kipper book and knowing that the child hasn't taken on board what reading is for. Remember, reading isn't just about the phonics, it's about understanding what it's for too. Thank you very much for listening to me and my five top tips. I hope you found them really useful. Um, if you would ever like any further information, don't forget your class teacher is a mine of information on reading, so please do come in and chat to them. The thing that we want to do here at school is to help your child learn to read so that they can engage with the wider world. Whatever it is they choose to read, we just want them to do it well. Thank you.